Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. I'm at you with another binder series video for my binder collection. Um, again, moving on with the NFL Stars binder. This is binder number two. It's going to be in alphabetical order like all the other binders, E through H. All football players that I consider uh, stars or like to uh, collect uh, or had decent careers all with the last name starting from E through H. So, I'm um, really enjoying doing this series and adding to it. Obviously, um, I don't have as many football as I do baseball, but it's growing quite largely and adding to it every now and then uh, and here and there. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy. And well, not all the cards are put in yet because I ran out of pages, but uh, most are in. So this will kind of give you an overview of, for the most part, uh, what I got going on. So without any more further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. So first, first guy we have is Julian Edelman. Who, of course, has been a key contributor in the Patriots' success over the years. Uh, Donnie Edwards. Pretty good uh, safety. I uh, decided to add Glenn Edwards. Was really good with the uh, Steelers. Got Jason Elam, former Bronco. So, you know, i got to have some of my Broncos here representing. Henry Ellard. You never know, might get in the Hall of Fame one of these days. As a uh, pretty good stat line. Played for a long time. Evan Ingram. Just got one card of his so far. Zach Ertz. We got Boomer Sison, A pretty good left-handed quarterback. The Bengals, Jets, and Arizona Cardinals. So we don't have any Cardinals cards yet. But have plenty of Bengals and Jets. So. We got... Jari Evans, who's a consistent pro bowler, or at least was. Uh, Mike Evans, just a catching machine. Jim Everett. Uh, I can say he was pretty good for his time. You know, so. Over 200 touchdown passes. Uh, Gary Fenchick, hard-hitting safety for the Chicago Bears during their... Uh, Really good years there in the 80s, uh, Super Bowl Shuffle kind of era. Uh, added Manny Fernandez, Super Bowl hero for the Miami Dolphins. In their um, undefeated season. Got quite a few Larry Fitzgerald cards. Um, I don't know how I got all those, but I just have a lot. So, I mean, he's a good player to have. Future Hall of Famer. Well, I guess a lot for football standards at the moment. <laughs> um, Minka Fitzpatrick. Normally, I wait about two or three years before I add guys into these binders to see how they do. But he uh, he impressed me. He did. He's done pretty well. So um, added him in there. Joe Flacco. Um, he's you know now he's not good, but he was good. So uh, make sure to put him in here. Simon Fletcher was one of the. Great pass rushers of the late 80s, early 90s, until he got injured. Uh, Doug Flutie. Actually, I saw a uh, starting lineup figurine for 10 bucks at the Antique Mall. I almost thought about picking it up, but it had uh, two large creases on it. So I was like, ah, it's not worth 10 bucks. Maybe 5 bucks, I'd get it just for the heck of it. Uh, Matt Forte. Could have done a whole lot more if he hadn't gotten injured all the time. Uh, Bill Frolic, consistent uh, Pro Bowler back in his time. That's kind of how I gauge offensive linemen is my Pro Bowls. Travis Frederick. Antonio Freeman, really underrated wide receiver for the Green Bay Packers. Consistent target for Brett Favre during uh, the beginning of his career. So we got a couple pages worth of his. Dwight Freeney, Colts great. We got Irving Fryer. A pretty good pass catcher. Had some off field trouble, but been trying to uh, uh, change change some of that. I believe he's a pastor now. Uh, Kyle Fuller, another Bears, uh, pretty decent quarterback. Lots of interceptions through a, kind of a short period. William Fuller might be one guy that you guys probably haven't heard of or don't really. Uh, collect, but uh, he was actually pretty good. I think he had over 100 sacks in his career. Obviously, with the Eagles, that's 295. 
Bay hit, 81.5. So he either came pretty close or had over, I can't remember. But he still played, I think, a couple years after that. Steve Furness, uh, defense attack for the Steelers. I mean, he was pretty good. Roman Gabriel, uh, just got a coach card at the moment. Joey Galloway, um, one guy I'm surprised he's not in the Hall of Fame. But uh, he was pretty good. Rich Gannon, of course, had a nice resurgence towards the end of his career with the Vikings and Raiders and Chiefs. Cool story as well. Antonio Gates, future Hall of Famer, one of the greatest tight ends ever to play the game. Uh, played forever, too. Just kept on going. Retired recently. Uh, Eddie George, another guy, kind of borderline Hall of Famer. I think maybe his touchdown or maybe a little low. I don't know if that's maybe what's holding him back. I'm not sure. Stephon Gilmore with the Patriots. Another successful cornerback. Ernest Givings. Get another Oilers player. Pretty good. Um, uh, pass catcher. Warren Moon. So he's got some nice cards. Terry Glenn, who passed away a few years ago. Um... Not a lot of touchdown catches, but a lot of receptions and yards, which kind of made me uh, decide to add him in here. Vincey Glenn, who uh, at the point of this card being made, um, had 30 interceptions through uh, less than 10 years, so I thought that was pretty remarkable. He's definitely a pretty good safety, judging by those stats. Leroy Glover, uh, defensive tackle, just have one card so far. There's probably more somewhere else. Uh, Jared Goff is in here for now. Um, had, of course, that really good season when they made the Super Bowl. Uh, the rest of the season's kind of been mediocre. Um, he was injured, though, this year towards the end. So, I don't know. how. And then he led them with a, basically a broken hand uh, through for a playoff victory. So, I don't know. Um, we'll see how he does uh, with the Lions. Um... Frank Gore, of course, father time. <laughs> I don't know. See if he goes into the season. Uh, Jimmy Graham. I think he's on the Packers. Maybe now. Randy Gratishar, Broncos ring of famer. Really good, hard-hitting inside linebacker for the Broncos during their orange crush defense days. We got Mel Gray. the Kind of the forgotten Mel Gray uh, for the Cardinals, the St. Louis Cardinals, not the baseball team. Pretty good wide receiver for him. And then you have one of the greatest kick and punt return specialists in NFL history, Mel Gray. Got to make sure he's in there. Uh, also played wide receiver, but was definitely known better for his kicking uh, special teams work. So probably a little bit more known Mel Gray than the Cardinals Mel Gray. A.J. Green, also another pass catching machine with the Bengals um, sadly he's just been on some really bad teams but if he had some better teams I think he could do better but um, he still put together good numbers even despite all that Jacob Green I have no idea why this guy is in the Hall of Fame over 100 sacks in his career I don't know if maybe there's something did he have like substance abuse or I don't know what what is keeping him out of the Hall of Fame please let me know I'm not too good with the um NFL knowledge. I know more about baseball. I know some about football, but not necessarily as much as I do baseball. So, um, if anybody knows, let me know. I'd like to know why he's not in the Hall of Fame. Uh, we've got Roy Green. Um, another kind of forgotten about Cardinals wide receiver, but he was really good. There's also JT Smith on the other end. Um, he's not my binder. Uh, two, not enough touchdown catches, but he was he had a lot of yardage. So I mean, the Cardinals quarterback some, some, had some good guys to throw to. Rob Gronkowski, which just won another Super Bowl. Joe Hayden, a couple rookie cards. That's kind of cool. I think he's still with the Steelers now. You got Tomba Ali, a rookie card and a 2012. He's I believe retired now, but I mean he had. Um, about 70 or 80 sacks, so um, he's worth having. We got uh, Dante Hall. He's just a glitch. Um, never really appreciated 
how good he was on special teams until I saw um, some old uh, football games with the Rams. Um, couldn't really catch the ball as a wide receiver, but man, he could. When he got into the open field on a kick return, a punt return, I mean, good luck trying to tackle that guy. D'Angelo Hall, really good uh, quarterback. Fast, tall, lots of interceptions. Might be a Hall of Famer as well. And when you look here, this is close to his retirement. 32 interceptions up until 2010. Tim Harris had a pretty good career. Lots of tackles. 49ers and Packers. Didn't play as long, I don't think. I think he kind of retired early. James Harrison lasted forever. Um, sorry, Duke is wanting outside. We're almost done, Duke. <laughs> he doesn't want to look at the binder. Um, Jim Hart. There's one of the Cardinals quarterbacks. I mean, he played a long time. I mean, he's not a Hall of Famer, but he was pretty good um, for the stats he compiled. Lots of yardage again. A decent amount of touchdowns for being on a team that's, you know, not that great, but had some weapons on the team. So Jim Hart definitely makes my cut. Uh, Matt Hasselback, one of these Seahawks greats. AJ Hawk. Uh, for a while there, he was doing it on YouTube, like some challenges and stuff, like military challenges, which is pretty cool to watch. Lester Hayes, which I was surprised to find out wasn't in the Hall of Fame. Um, I had him in my Hall of Fame binder, then I looked him up and showed he wasn't, and so I had to switch him back. I always thought he was in the Hall of Fame, so that was kind of weird. The greatest of all time, probably, for punt returner, kick returner, Devin Hester. I would be shocked if he didn't make the Hall of Fame as a punt and kick returner. It might take a while, maybe, but I think he should, based on all the things he accomplished with that role. Jay Hilgenberg, another guy you wonder why he's not in the Hall of Fame really I mean I know Jim Covert made the Hall of Fame from the same era but Hilgenberg I feel was a better offense lineman than Covert but then again I don't know so um, maybe those guys will have their time we'll see we got Drew Hill played for a long time too also over 50 touchdowns about 10,000 yards Tony Hill, Cowboys, another wideout weapon. T.Y. Helton had some injury problems. He's getting older, but uh, still a weapon. Chris Hinton, kind of like Bruce Armstrong. I'm surprised he's not in the Hall of Fame. Had lots of Pro Bowls. Um, towards the end of his career, battled injuries like Bruce Armstrong. But during his prime, he was really, really good. So, what, Hall, uh, NFL Hall of Fame or Pro Football Hall of Fame. Why the heck is Chris Hinton and Bruce Armstrong not in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> so, makes no sense. Priest Holmes. Really, uh, when, when healthy, this guy was a serious force for both the Ravens and the Chiefs. Uh, I've watched some old games of his, too. Really fun to watch. Um, if you guys subscribe to NFL Throwback, they post some old games. It's really fun to watch. It kind of gives you a new pers perspective to see if, if these guys are any good or not. And it's helped me. Torrey Holt. I have a lot of Torrey Holt cards. He's another borderline Hall of Famer. Um, only time will tell on that one. But uh, uh, offensive weapon for Kurt Warner and Mark Bolger for a long time. So really cool. Torrey Holt. And we're tied with the Patriots. Got DeAndre Hopkins now with the Cardinals. Um, just had an amazing season. Uh, Wes Hopkins uh, sadly passed away. Um, I don't think he was retired yet. I think he passed away um, during his playing days. But really a hard-hitting safety. So I had to make sure, give him a place of honor in here and add him. But even up until 91, he had uh, 12 interceptions. Not a big interception kind of guy, but... Lots of tackles uh, and passes defended. Uh, Joe Horn, another guy who had about 50 touchdowns in his career. Uh, lots of yardage, so he made my cut to add to the binder. And I believe finally we got Mr. Jerry Hughes, who I decided to add, who's on the Bills now. Still uh, 
sacking quarterbacks and doing a good job of defense. So that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. Binder number two for the football. I'll have to fix that uh, ring binder there. Other than that, guys, that I will see you all next episode. Bye.